This is the Gobi electric toothbrush. I've been testing it for a few weeks and I'm here to give you my opinion on it. So here is the Gobi electric toothbrush. I wanna to let you know there's a full written review that accompanies this video. Just check out the link in the description below uh, and that goes into a lot of detail, but I'm gonna give you a good overview in this video. So here is uh, the unit itself. It comes in a number of different colors and that does have an impact on the price, but um, this is kind of like one of the standard configurations with white and then a colored band here. This is like a midnight blue. Um, you can get like vibrant orange colors. You can get an all black color option as well. It's a slightly different design to a normal electric toothbrush. I mean, it's got the, the general design concept, but where a lot of brush handles are cylindrical, this is sort of like a, a tapered design, and the brush doesn't actually stand upright on its own, which for me is a small negative, but what I do like is these thick rubber sides, which make it really easy to grip onto the handle, and I also like the simplicity of this brush, and that goes for the way in which the Gobi uh, subscription service works, because this is ideally a subscription-based toothbrush. You can buy it as a one-off toothbrush and replacement heads as well, but the primary concept is around subscription, so you don't have to remember to buy replacement heads, they kind of get delivered automatically. The price does vary whether you pay uh, to buy it as a one-off or on a subscription. There's slight savings to be had by buying it on subscription, which is a, a nice touch and I think it works well given we live in a culture where there's more subscription services, be that Netflix, Spotify and what have you, and there's no reason why uh, your toothbrush shouldn't be the same. Um, so this lovely kind of clean design, uh, I must say the patching experience with Gobi is really good, it's a bit fun and funky. You get a single brush head included in the box, you get a uh, protective case for the brush head, you get a charging stand that this can sit in. You don't have to use that stand for charging because the back of this uh, unit, there's a slightly flatter panel here and that the charging cable magnetizes to the back here. So you can magnetize directly to the toothbrush or you can put it in the stand and then magnetize it uh, to it. The end of the cable has a USB connection so you can charge it from a USB port on your laptop or computer but also included is a two pin uh, plug for the US main supply so you can power it off the mains if you like. So the brush head is user removable. There's only one style of brush head available here. This is very much like an Oral-B sensitive brush head and I'd forgive you uh, for saying the same. Unfortunately, Oral-B heads don't fit on here, um, but you can get these brush heads from Gobi on the subscription service or as a one-off purchase if you like. You've got quite a nice simple uh, one power button here right at the top. Gives a nice tactile feedback. You press it once to power the brush on. You can press it again to change the cleaning mode because it's got two cleaning modes, the standard clean and a sensitive mode. The sensitive is slightly lower power, uh, so um, it's not quite so harsh on the teeth and gums if you want that more sensitive experience. The battery is built in. You get 12 days of battery life from the uh, battery in here. And down here, when the brush is powered on, you get three green LED indicators, and that gives you a little bit of a gauge of the battery life remaining in this brush when you're actually using it. When the brush is actually running, you get a two minute timer and pacer built in as well, so you know when to change quadrant and when your two minute clean is up, which is nice because dentists do recommend spending 30 seconds on each quadrant and cleaning for a full two minutes twice a day. What would be nice is if this brush had a pressure sensor to alert you if you're brushing too hard. Sadly, it doesn't, but a novel feature it does have is this power button uh, lights up with a blue LED when it's time to replace your brush head, which is a really nice touch because you get that kind of reminder that it's time to change your brush head. And then obviously you'll have your subscription brush heads delivered, but you need to physically put the new brush head on here. Now when it comes to the subscription, you've got the uh, ability to change your plan as and when you like, uh, how you can change how frequently brush heads are delivered, be that one every month, every two months, every three months, it's entirely up to you. Brush heads work out at around $6 a time, so that's very reasonable. Uh, as I say, the brush itself, the price does vary depending on what color uh, and whether you go on subscription or not, but even so, when you factor it in, the daily cost of that, including the cost of replacement brush heads, typically works out around about 11 cents, and I think for what you get, that's pretty damn impressive. 
Um, given you can get the convenience of the subscription model, I've got to take my hat off to uh, Gobi. They've done a really good job. I really like it. It's not bogged down with all smart features that many of us don't need. That's not to criticize smart features, but it's just a good innovative brush that works well, cleans well, and I've been very happy with and actually pleasantly surprised by. Like I say, there's a full written review that accompanies this video. Just click the link in the description. But until next time, thanks for watching.